What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Ducci. If you are new, thanks so much for watching. Today we're doing this amazing pop of color look. Like this is definitely the star right here on the side. Super inspired by Nikki Makeup on Instagram. She's been hitting us with some awesome colorful makeup looks and I was like, you know what? I gotta try something new, try some color and I had so much fun doing this. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram as well at Caitlyn Ducci. I'm doing a lot of new reels with makeup tutorials and hair tutorials, skincare videos. Just there's tons of more content in there so come follow me there as well. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Share with your friends, put it up on Facebook. I'd Appreciate all the help I can get. So thanks so much and enjoy the video. My skin is already prepped. I just put a little facial oil on it over my morning skincare just to like re-plump it because it's been a couple of hours. So I'm gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna use uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade number 5.75. I've got a little fake tan on, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it matches okay. I'm just gonna start buffing a little bit of this in. This is um, a Sephora 99 Pro brush. It's actually a blush brush, but Daisy Cash uses this and I use everything that she uses pretty much. She uses this for foundation and I have to say, it's my first time using it and it feels really nice. It's super soft and fluffy. I think I kind of prefer this over what I've been using, which is the Rare Beauty foundation brush. I still like that for maybe like other cream products, but this feels so nice. I'm always searching for like the most perfect brushes. This is like, gonna be going to the top of my makeup drawer for sure. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Nude Sticks Cream Concealer. This is in the shade number three. I've been really liking this when I have an oil underneath my skin. I think it just kind of glides a little bit better over just if you have like a cream or like a primer underneath, but it's really nice. I'm gonna use just the same foundation brush to work this in. This feels like a little kitty paw on your face. <laughs> it feels really nice. I always go in with my finger after concealer just to make sure everything is really blended and if things need to like melt in more, the heat of your hand sometimes does a better, way better job than any tool at just melting product in, getting rid of any creases or smudging or brush lines. I'm also gonna put a little concealer on my lids. I never do this, but I wanna try it out today because I'm gonna be doing a lot of color on my lids and I feel like, says other YouTubers, that this will make the color pop a little more. I've got kind of like creasy or oilier, oilier eyelids. I don't like to add like so much product underneath to make the situation worse, but I don't know, let's try it out. We're here, we got nothing to lose. For my brows, I'm gonna be doing my soap brow technique. If you haven't watched my soap brow video or how I get my fluffier brows, go check that out. I just filmed that. It's a really good short video just on brows, but this is like what I've been doing every day since, so. <laughs> Street dogs. I love this eyebrow technique. It's just my absolute favorite way to do brows these days. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Tower 28 Bronzino. This is in the color West Coast. Yeah, Bronzino West Coast. This bronzer is just, if you have not tried this, it's so good. I love Tower 28. It's just, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It's mega glowy. You don't need a lot, but I always end up putting on way, way too much anyways, but it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna go kind of higher on my bronzer today because I'm doing more like 80s, blown out, really colorful eyes, like really, 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 really blended, but higher up kind of vibe, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna take this a lot higher than I normally would just so it really kind of lifts my whole cheek up. It's pretty much on top of my cheekbone instead of below it, but I think it's gonna give me the result that I want, but we'll see. And I'm not bringing it too far down either. I'm kind of staying just back here towards the hairline and up into my hairline on my forehead. 
lifts. Lift it, baby. Same on the other side. And then a little on the sides of my nose. And chin. We are going to come back to the face after the eyes and we'll finish off with blush and highlighter because I want to see kind of where the eyes get first. It's normally what I do, but more so today because it's really going to be colorful. So we'll come back to that in a minute. For the eyes, I'm going to use my ColourPop Through My Eyes palette. This is just one of my favorite palettes. You have tons of colors to work with. It's so affordable. ColourPop has just such affordable products. And especially for a palette like this, where, you know, you're not going to use these colors all the time, but you want the option. I think it's great to just have something like this. It's very old, but I still use it because I love it. I think I'm going to start with a very big fluffy brush. This is from ColourPop as well. It's their E2 brush and it's very fluffy. And I'm gonna start swirling in this color, Wild Soul, which is this matte yellow color. I'm bringing it a lot higher than I normally would, almost to my brow and swirling it on the outer V of my eye. Very, very light strokes. Okay, zoomed in a tiny bit so you can see a little closer. <laughs> Just gonna keep building on this color a little bit. I did a similar look. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I'm just gonna play, but a similar look that I was wearing in my brow video and my lip video. And it just came out so pretty and I just was playing. I wasn't doing anything um, intentional and it came out so cute. I just love these warm tones, kind of sunset colors. Can't go wrong in my opinion. Okay, next I'm gonna take this color Lomo, which is this sparkly coral color. And I'm gonna bring that above my crease. And I know normal people don't put shimmery colors in their crease, but I kind of like it sometimes, it's just fun to play. Same brush, and I'm gonna take it even higher than I did this orange color, way into the brow bone. And up here past my brow as well. Whatever's left, the excess up here. We might have to re-glue re our brows down after this. That's okay. For my lid shade, I'm gonna use this color Euphoric, which is a matte orange color, a little deeper than this one here, Wild Soul, which we used in our crease. And I'm gonna press it on with a more flat brush all over my lid. Again, I'm just playing. I don't really have an idea here, but it's gonna be like a little sunset kind of vibe. I'm gonna go back to my original brush, pick up more of Wild Soul, the yellow color, and bring that back into the crease here. I think I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of this color because it might get a little too dark, but this color here called Nocturne and start working that into this inner corner here. I'm not sure how it's gonna play, but let's see. Pretty. I'm just using a very light hand and a small blending brush with a pinched bottom. My original blending brush and just lightly going over kind of everything up here, making sure we're all blended. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take on my flat brush, this color euphoric, the medium orange that we were using on our lid, and just drag that all the way underneath. And then for inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use Lomo, which is the color up here, inside all of here. Just gonna use my finger, seems like the easiest. I'm gonna move on to this eye, come back to this. I don't know if I wanna do any liner or anything like that yet. So let me see where I get, how I get with this eye and see how it looks. I might add like some brown liner just to like 
ground it a little bit, but we'll see when we come back. I just added a tiny bit of brown liner. I used Marc Jacobs highlighter in brownie. I love these pencils just in my upper waterline and just to create like a longer lash line than I have, but nothing crazier than that. I think the star of the show is obviously the shadow. For mascara, I'm gonna use Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. I know you everyone's so over me talking about this, but I wanna finish it up, but it's gonna about to dry out anyway. So I'm gonna do two coats on top, one coat on bottom. For blush, I'm gonna mix these two Glossier Cloud paints. One, the pink one is Puff and the beige one is Dusk. And then we're also gonna put this higher up because I want it to kind of go into the shadow we have up here. So we're gonna put it higher than we normally would. Blend it with my same bronzer brush. And I'm starting in like a small quantity but we are gonna build it up so it's pretty intense. And I'm not gonna bring it down here on my, on my apples of my cheeks like I normally do. I'm gonna kinda keep it up here. Just a little on the nose. I can't, I can't help myself. I need blush on my nose. It just, it's my thing. <laughs> For highlight, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Reezy highlighter. It's wicked old, probably wicked expired, but I refuse to get rid of it because there's so much product in here and it's such a great highlighter. And I'm just gonna swirl this on the tops of my cheekbones. Not that we need any more action in this area, but <laughs> why not? Also on my forehead and down my nose. Okay, I just grabbed what I saw first, honestly, but to keep it in the pink family, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal lip liner. Um, it's a very like mauve -y color. It's called Neutral, Natural, All Natural. It's the L'Oreal Color Reach lip liners. These are really good. The color Toffee to Be is good too. And I'm just gonna line my lips. For lipstick, I'm gonna use this very light pink nude. It's one of my favorites. It's an OG, I've had this forever. It's uh, Givenchy Beige Inter de, de Quint. I don't know, it's the, it's the beige, O2 beige. This is such a beautiful formula. Super shiny. I love this color. This is the final look. I love how this turned out. I love playing with colors and this is the magic right here. This like mega 80s style blush and eyeshadow into blush is just so pretty. I know we have nowhere to go these days to wear these things, but it's just fun to play with makeup and to play with color and to step outside the box. So try something new, try different colors, and I hope you enjoyed this. I had so much fun today, so thanks for watching.